How do I record MIDI from a machine inside of Logic? I get this question a lot. Hi, my name is Carlo. I am going to show you how to do that in less than 6 minutes. I am also going to demonstrate how to instantiate more than one instance of machine inside of Logic. So let's jump right in. I have a very simple system in place and I'll play it for you. As you already noticed, I recorded some MIDI information on this machine number 2 MIDI track. Let me show you how to do that. Open the plugin, select the kit you want to work with, right click, from this menu select sounds to MIDI notes. Then we need to go down to input and output section, select input, group, MIDI and this little guy has to be activated. Now you're not done yet. In order to record MIDI from machine you need to enable the controller mode and you do that by hitting shift and control. Let's see what happens if I don't have that mode enabled. I'll try to record something. Well, nothing's happening. It's not recording. That's why, because you don't have that controller mode enabled. And I'm going to enable it right now. Let's see if I can record now. And success! That's how you record MIDI from machine inside of Logic. Now let's move to another subject. How about if I want to bring in another instance of machine and I want to use a different kit? So I want to go to this machine one MIDI track and see what happens if I hit pads on machine. I'm still getting that the sounds from machine two and that's not what I want. So how to go about it? All you need to do is tell machine what which instance you want to use. And how to do that? You go to your hardware and press shift and step. And then you'll be presented with a new uh, menu on your uh, right display on machine. You'll get the listing of uh, all the how many instances you have inserted inside of Logic. In my case I have only two. So I want to go and choose instance number one. Press shift and step. Once you select the desired instance, you just hit load. And I successfully loaded machine number one. Now I can go ahead and record something on a separate MIDI track. Remember to enable MIDI controller. Uh, Shift and control on, on your uh, machine hardware. And that's how you do it. Now, there are a lot of new things you can, uh, you can do. You can separate all the sounds. Obviously, this is speaking, you don't want that. But in this video, I won't be discussing how to separate the sounds. I hope you learned something new, and if you liked it, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.